Who's courtesy of RA? We've got this news that filled me with so much fucking joy because I had such a good time at this location. I haven't been able to go back for a while, but I went this to this place before the hype. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. I went to this location before the whole internet did because everyone's now going to fucking Japan. Before that, everyone was going to Mexico City. Then people were going to Ibiza. There's all these like influencer hots. I've actually got a, I think there was a t-shirt by Heron Preston, right? Heron Preston, I think, made a really funny t-shirt. I think it was like the Influencer World Tour. And I think at the back of it, it had like all the places that influencers go to, like, you know, from fucking, um, I don't know, from uh, the art festivals to the fest, to the, to the festivals, to the con to the fashion weeks, um, to the trade show things. There was a list of locations, a list of places. Um, and I wish maybe there's a one that you could do nowadays because of, you know, the the kind of popularity of Aspen. Um, obviously I mentioned Ibiza, Greece is starting to pop off again, um, Corsica places, anyway, whatever it may be. The place I'm talking about is Bali. And what I'm talking about is this news courtesy of RA. DJ Harvey opens a new club called Climax Discotheque in Bali. I cannot, I've, I've been looking for an excuse to go back to Bali. Um, I went to Bali, I'm going to say, was it 27, was it 2007? It might have been somewhere along those kind of years. Maybe it was like 2010 or something. Crazy. I went so long ago and it was obviously way cheaper than it is now. I think it's still very, very cheap. But what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Like amazing from the food to the weather to the hospitality, like everything was absolutely incredible. Actually, one of the best things I did in Bali was that the place that we stayed at, for some reason, had loads of really cool leather shops. Like if you've been to Bali, maybe you'll know what I'm talking about. There's this place where there's all these cool places that that basically these guys make handmade leather goods, wallets and bags and whatever it may be. And we went to this one place where we literally cleared out the place. We bought so many wallets and bags and shit from them. And then we went to this other place that sold loads of bags, you know, whatever, really cheaply as well. That was also good. And then I remember one thing also being really amazing in Bali was this great restaurant I went to there that did really good barbecue. For some reason, they had this amazing place. It was almost like, I think it was like built into like, um, like you know, crates. Like they kind of built the restaurant into like a crate thing. So it kind of looked like you were on like, you know, um you were basically eating inside of a crate and they served you the, the, the thing in a metal tray as well. And you had this amazing barbecue with like some ribs and sausages and shit. Like, oh, the food in Bali was good. So this is a good excuse for me to go to Bali because DJ Harvey is one of my favorite teachers of all time. So if he's opening a nightclub in Bali, I will be there. I will be there. So let's read the blurb. DJ Harvey is opening a new club in Indonesia island of Bali. Look how it looks already. Look at that. Look at just the disco ball and the lights. Look how nice that looks already. Um, launched on New Year's Eve, Climax Discotheque features a custom-built sound system and is part of a beachfront venue, Dessa Potato Head. Um, uh, funny enough, I think, I think Potato Head is, is the place where the former design director of... I forgot what that retail store is called in Dawson that does fashion, but I'm pretty sure that's the place that that guy moved to. He was a former, I think he was a former buyer or something for that store. And he went over to Bali and he set up that place, um, Potato Head. I think it's a hotel as well they've got there and a restaurant maybe as well. But anyway, let's continue. Open on Fridays and Saturdays from 10 p.m. through to 4 a.m. The place has been five years in the making, according to DJ Harvey, whose extended sets have been a regular occurrence at Dessa Potato Head over the years. Bali-based acts such as Gero, Rainbow Disco Club affiliate Dita have been named as residents so far. Bookings for the month in January include Manfred, Carl Craig, Tornado Wallace, Kiman Foxman, Courtney Bailey, Archie, and whoever that last bitches it continues in addition to climax disco this potato head comes um is home of its own club a radio station listening bar and record store called headstream plus studio escotica a vinyl library and studio space for updates from climax visit the website so here's a picture of my g my goat dj harvey one of the greatest djs of all time up there with ricardo villalobos for me up there with gerd jansen for me up there with dj hell up there with fucking Carl Craig, up there with fucking Seth Truxler, like absolutely goats for me. And DJ Harvey is one of my goats. Like I've literally gone, I've literally flown around the world to see this guy play. I literally went to fucking Berlin one time and paid, you know, way too much for a flight, way too much for a hotel to go and hear him play for fucking six hours. And it might have been one of the best experiences I've ever had. So if I might just, if I can see him in Bali, 
I'm a do so. The club looks amazing. You've got his, you know, um, his icon. I would say he's iconic, but what he's known for in terms of playing with a rotary mixer. Um, you got all of the look at the turntables stacked. I love the actual how the layout. So you have two CDJs um, on either side of the massive rotary mixer, and then you have three turntables. There, three vinyl turntables next to each other. I'm not really seeing a, a setup like this. It's kind of weird because you have to kind of lean quite over the fucking you know the unit to kind of play your vinyls and shit it's a bit wild but i'm sure it works um well and then obviously you've got the actual club itself i love the wood i'm assuming this is good for um acoustics it probably makes it way more warm um the sound probably bounces off the walls and the floor and the ceiling way way easier the disco ball right there in the middle as well looks fucking great all the lights on the side absolutely beautiful i love everything about it so um big up climax discoteca i really want to check this out one day soon i really do want to check this place out one day soon